Hello YouTube, how's it going? Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for the views and all the great stuff that's happening in the last month or so. I really appreciate it, so thank you. And as you see in the video before, someone tried to invade me and it didn't go too well for them. This is my twin Moonvale build and it is pretty dang good. These moon veils are, are strong. Um, I got the moon veils from the Gale Tunnel. Uh, you go through there to defeat the boss. It's a dragon, magma dragon. It's not easy. But I got one there and I also got one dropped by my buddy Vinny. Shout out to Vinny. Uh, so that's the only real way you can get two of them. So you need a buddy to drop you some. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, take a look at the melee part of this instead of the magic. Now, I like the jumping R2, or R1, excuse me, or L1, <laughs> sorry. Pretty powerful. Level 71. Um, this is kind of an end game area. There's some magic. That's, uh. That's, uh. That's R2. This is R1. Boom. It's very quick and very violent. It's, uh, pretty fun. There's so many ways to use these katanas. Uh, it makes for a fun uh, gameplay uh, run through of this game. Um, so, first thing off with this build is it's, I believe, it's extremely viable or very viable for end game, mid game, end game. Okay. Uh, let's go over some of the equipment. Of course, I have plus six moon veil, plus five on the left. I have to find some somber stones to level both of these up. It's been kind of a challenge because they're hard to find, but that's okay. It makes gameplay interesting. I started as a mage with this class, so I do have my meteor meteorite staff. Um, it's real good for rangey stuff when you don't want to engage right away and you can get off some hit points. <clears throat> or if there's a bunch of enemies, you can just kind of switch to it. Um, and then I, I got the scaled armor. I'm not wearing all of it because it gives me a heavy load. And I, you have to be mobile. Uh, you have to be have endurance. You have to roll, dodge, jump, attack. So it is an endurance hungry build, which I respect a couple days ago and put uh, 30 in vigor and 21 in endurance. I had my endurance at 18. Um, intelligence, these weapons scale off intelligence and dexterity mainly. Strength is, I don't know, it's not very necessary for this. Um, so yeah, there's four main categories that you gotta put your uh, attribute points going forward. Vigor, Endurance, Dexterity, and Intelligence. So, um, yeah, that's a build. I also have the Crimson Amber Medallion for more health, more FP, and this Ritual Sword Talesman, if you've never seen it, it's a great uh, Talesman for bosses. You come in and do. Uh, I'm not sure what the percentages are, but if you have full health, you do more damage. So um, I pop this, the Carillion Hidden Tier, and the Opaline Bubble Tier. Uh, so the 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 op Opaline, excuse me. Um, it gives you like one shot from a boss where you don't take, you barely take damage. 
The Krillian Hidden Tier eliminates all FP consumption for one use. So I walk in to the, through the mist. I pop my uh, spirit summons, which cost me no FP. And uh, yeah, go for it. And I still have my other bubble activated. So, you know, that's where this comes into play. My spirit summons and no damage right off the bat. So I can get off two or three hits sometimes and do significant damage to the boss not take any damage and not use any FP because these swords, when you use the magic part of it, the uh, transient moonlight, it consumes quite a bit of FP, you know. Uh, that's one thing that's kind of going to be hard to juggle. I do want to put more of my uh, attributes in mind going forward. Um, and I have seven Crimson Tears and four of the FP uh, tiers so yeah it's really viable uh, I really have not struggled I am not really an end game I don't have any of this unlocked but I'm in this area which can be very challenging um, so uh, yeah I'm doing fine you know I beat some bosses Obviously, I've went through all the, most of this area, most of Limgrave, south of Limgrave. I haven't really explored uh, Khalid very much. Uh, I just, for some reason, that area is just, uh, I don't know, super challenging. But uh, I've been to the Volcano Cano Manor, um, all that stuff, which is cool. But I still have some stuff to unlock, and I have... 26 hours in this build, roughly, so not too bad, but I'm a grinder. I'll sit on this thing for 12 hours a day, <laughs> sit on this game, I love it, um, but yeah, I, uh, I'll i pop one of these and I'll show you, see the red glowing that signifies that <clears throat> the Tailsman is working for the first hit, so yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, you can obviously adjust things the way you want them. Um, you know, you can <clears throat> adjust these Tailsmen to suit your play style, that kind of stuff. Um, I rely pretty heavy on the Transient Moonlight. It's really powerful. Um, but yeah, e even if you run out of FP, the Dual Katana uh, Moon Veils are still really powerful for melee. But yeah, um, that's my build. Uh, now these katanas you can't buff with like fire grease or anything like that because they're like a legendary type uh, armament. So yeah, um, but I get why they do that. They don't. Uh, they don't need it. <laughs> anyway, um, they nerfed the Night and Flame Sword and also the Frost Stomp or the Horf, Horse Stomp or whatever it's called, the the uh, Stomp thing. Um, I think I might have that in here somewhere. I, I actually started off with this. So, this bad boy, they nerfed it, which... I tested it the other day, and it wasn't really nerfed that much, but they did nerf it. So, this is an alternative. Um, uh, really great build. Um, I also wanted to do a, uh, a dual axe build, uh, but I'm still trying to figure that out. But I am currently, last thing, I am currently... Uh, doing a big project on the uh, evolution of gaming since I was younger till now <clears throat> and the end game for the video is going to be about Elden Ring so it's kind of like a review but it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty lengthy type video but it's gonna be a fun project and uh, we're going to see if uh, we can interest some people in that because um, 
it's going to be really cool. Some thoughts on uh, early gaming and the basic evolvement of the consoles and the games and how this new um, this new console thing is taking off and you know in my opinion I don't think that they have really put out in the last year too many next gen games in my opinion uh, but that's for another topic in another video so I'm going to leave you with some more gameplay real quick at the end of this so you can see it and uh, I appreciate your time like share and subscribe and I will see you next time bye